Wrexham has changed thanks to Ryan Reynolds, who will rescue the other suffering towns in Britain. Cardiff, Wales' Gary Tipping is thinking about his favorite football team's ups and downs while seated in the Royal Oak, a small but improbably lengthy pub in the heart of Wrexham. The season's first game has just ended in defeat for Wrexham Association Football Club, a lower league team that has become hardly recognizable after being acquired by Hollywood actors Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney in 2021. However, very little can dim tippings or his fellow followers' ardor. What they've accomplished for this community, he says, is beyond anything I could have ever imagined. Sam, Gary's 21-year-old son, who has been attending football games with him since he was five years old, says, people want to experience the town and breathe in the spirit here. The area is buzzing with activity. The word hype has not before been connected to Wrexham. It was the third oldest professional football club in the world, but by the 2010 seconds, it was having trouble making ends meet. But when Reynolds and McElhenney showed they're looking for a project and with cash to burn, everything changed. New players and a new manager, paid for with American funds, completely changed the course of Wrexham's fortunes. Fans poured back in, a Netflix documentary program that tracks their development. A huge success on both sides of the Atlantic, Welcome to Wrexham, was released. After a 15-year absence, the revitalized squad was reinstated into the Professional Football League in May. The town itself has a distinct atmosphere. Christopher Lamb, a local call center employee, points out a plethora of new bars that have opened in the last two years as he strolls along a bustling Wrexham High Street on a Saturday night. Since 2010, the town has been declining for a while, but a lot has changed. Although they don't necessarily visit the places that need the money, there are now a lot of American visitors coming here, according to Lamb.